So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I bring you a complete guide in how you get to and navigate around and complete the giant conquering hero's grave. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps us and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this complete guide I'll show you what you can get from here, the armor, the weapons, this, that and the other. So firstly, to even get here, guys, you need to make your way to the Giant's Grave Post, uh, Grace Point. Simple as that, people. Get up here. This is the by far the easiest way I've figured out to get down to here. You have to come this way. So yeah, this is by far the easiest way, guys. And obviously, you first need to be able to get up here. Uh, use the Grand Lift of the Road, uh, which requires you to beat the Omen King and Godfrey in the capital. Once you've done that, you can actually access this area and get some amazing things, guys. Okay, so from this grace point here, the giant's grave post, this is where we gotta go. We gotta head in that direction, right over there. Right over there. Now this place beholds actually some some decent things, guys. Some seriously decent things. So you wanna come around this way. Just like so. Just like so might be you careful people. How you guys enjoying out of ring anyway? Whoa, look at this fingernail. Who painted who painted these fingernails? Yeah, you want to come down here, you want to jump down carefully here, guys, by the way. You don't wanna just go fly enough because you will probably die. <laughs> probably die. You know many times I've like fell off a rock and thinking, well how's that done half health to my horse? And you know, I can jump off so, such high heights. And it don't damage me whatsoever. And you can see it right there, guys. Right there, just in front of us. So let me just actually get rid of that. Let me get rid of that before I forget. And it does my head in when I can't find them later on. Okay, so. And be here. careful here, guys. Jump across there. You know what? That, that just actually scared the crap out of me. That's actually scared the crap out of me. Is he chasing me still? Okay, so. It's... To be honest, it's not difficult. You will have to be a decent level to actually navigate this place. There's a few little tricks you need to be pulling. Are you going to pull the lever? Jesus. Jesus. Okay, so I've obviously already cleared this out, but I will add clips on screen of certain instances you need to take care of. Uh, but yeah. Simple as that, people. Is this lift coming up? Not well, it didn't seem like it was that long when I was on it. Let's have a look. There we go. Here we go. And I should probably pull on my torch. Put on my lantern so we can see what we're doing here. This armor's cool. This is actually the armor from the boss inside of here, by the way. Zamar, I believe his name. Zamar. Which I'll quickly show you now. I'll quickly show you now because I obviously won't be able to show you while we're there because I've already killed him. So, yeah. Uh, you also get his weapon too, which is quite cool. This one here. There's a mirror curve sword. I will make guys and individual things. Let me put it on and show you what it does. This thing is... No, I don't want to go back up. I don't want to go back up. I don't want to go back up. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> but yeah. Boom. Yes. Beautiful. And it looks incredible too. I'm sure we will agree. Uh, so that's where you get off the boss from in here, the armor and that weapon. But there's a few other sneaky bits in there. I'm going to pull that back down just for when I leave. Make it easier for myself. Okay, so you want to activate this grace. No two which ways about it, so do that. Uh, here will require a stone sword key. Uh, you come in here in the corner, back corner, you will get, just in case you guys don't have them to waste at the minute. Uh, you may want to come back for this later, but you get, why well, did I go the long way around? This right here flame protect me that's what you get from in here so if you want to use your stone sword can get that you can then we have to go this way so so yeah guys i just changed my uh, armor because i forgot or oh, remembered from earlier that these enemies down here can hit pretty hard so when you come down here guys you'll see a flame monkey here you want to take out he can drop uh that weapon can drop all that armor too that he's wearing i've already made a video on this though it's actually a better spot to farm him there's actually two of him by volcano mana you can kill quite easily now as you come down here guys you're gonna see like a i don't know what they're called shadow enemies see they're like just like completely full black the only way you can kill them and do damage to them is dragging them into light a light source 
You can see that pool of light behind? You'd have to take him up there now. I can reassure you I've killed that thing about 30 times. It hasn't dropped me anything specific. In fact, it hasn't dropped me anything. I don't know if it does drop anything. I can't confirm that because I've had nothing at all. But what you want to do, guys, is anyways, you want to run straight past him and run down here. Right down here, guys, there will be a Glow War 9. Pick that up, obviously. Now you want to run straight back up here. Dodge past these enemies because you can't do damage to them. And then you want to... Ignore the cat because now doing that, the cat don't see you and it hit hard. It hits hard, people. Now pull these up into this and take them out. Come on, come on, come up here. And we need to take these out because where we gotta go, they'll just annoy you. Come on. Are you coming, Noah? Are you coming, Noah? Come on. This, this guy's just not bothered by me. There you go. Biatch. Okay, so from here, you want to go left. Now down here, you're probably going to, you're going to need something like a bow or a range sorcery attack or and I just use a bow. It's easier for me for a bow and I'll demonstrate to you what you need to do here. Let me just put a bow on. Okay, so I'm out of those earlier. So you see this thing down here? Well, as you come here, guys, you're going to see fire. You're going to see a lot of fire. And it's because of that there. So if I shoot it, You'll see that it will go up and it shoots fire. And that's what you see. That's what you witness as you come down here. The only way to stop it, guys, is to shoot it. So just do that and then get out of the way. Don't matter if you see the fire or whatever. As soon as you shoot it, it will go up and it will stop. And there you go. Simple as that, guys. Simple as that. Okay, so just down here on your right-hand side, there's going to be another flame monk. This guy's actually got a great sword he drops. So you want to try and get, you can get that, try and get that if you want. I think he's probably the only person I've come across in my life he hits hard. He's the only one I've come across who has that sword, by the way. It is beautiful. I farmed him for about half an hour trying to get it. That's how hard it hits. And I'm probably going to level mine up, to be honest. He's dropped from some ask me there. He's dropped me the hood. Now I'll show you his weapon. I'll show you his weapon. Let me just get rid of that and that. We don't need them again down here. Um, the weapon is this here. The Monk's Flame Blade. Now, it ain't anything spectacular in regards to how it looks. So, let's just go back into a bit of light. I should probably put my own light on, to be honest. You can see it's just got a nice spinning attack. It will just... Air effect will be great on it. So, it's a decent, it's a decent, decent bit of kit. And like I said, a lot of people have been looking for that. Uh, because it don't drop with the normal flame monks it don't it ain't in their loot pool for some weird reason it's only from that guy but yeah either way you can farm him if you want to now from here guys we go this way we go this way now there will be more enemies here like this guy there we have to take him out another flame monk nah mate no mate got ya Got you in my pocket. Okay, so you can see he just dropped me his loot there. Now up here, there will be uh, access to another stone wall key. Now if you go stone sword key even, uh, go all the way down, avoid the hole in the middle of the floor. Come all the way down, there's going to be an enemy down there on your right. But right there in front of you, there's going to be um, a weapon, which I'll showcase to you in a second. But I knew they were going to come. I knew they were going to come. So let's run all the way down here, guys, and go for the lift. Let's keep coming down here. There's a lift at the very end there. And that's what you need to go down. So I'm going to have to pull it up because mine's already down there. For some weird reason. So the weapon you get from in there for the stone sword key is... Um, I think it's called something like the candle holder, to be honest. It actually looks pretty cool. Where are we? There it is there. Yeah. <laughs> the cranial vessel candle. Candle stand even. And it's... Decent people. I mean, if you like spitting fire and things, that could be quite cool for you. Yeah, it's going to make me heavy. I have to take that off. Okay, so now we go down. Now we go down. And down here, there will be a lever for you to pull. But what you'll notice is as well, I think when you pull the lever, this lights up. So it becomes one of those light pits where you can drag enemies to it. I can't remember, but this is closed. This is blocked off. You need to pull this lever. Pull that lever and it opens this up. And uh, you'll see this on screen now. Uh, and down here, guys, there is a giant. 
as a massive giant. Uh, you need to kite him up to that light and then kill him. That opens the door at the very bottom right here, guys, which you can go through, keep going down, and you come to the Zamora boss. And it really is that simple, guys. Kill him, and you get the loot I showcased at the start of the video. But, guys, when you are done with the boss here, you ain't finished. There's more to explore in this place, which I've not long figured out myself. So, just before the boss room, just before you go through the door that opens and you go down, if you come back, guys, right here, you'll see... They can actually jump down here. So you want to go to the edge here, guys. And there's quite a few enemies down here, so you want to be careful. Um, I've actually left the loot so we can collect it together. There's that big guy there who won't be too hard to kill. And I forgot my comet as there on anyway. So I'm going to go this way. Hopefully he don't spot me. No, he didn't. Now this guy, I think he's called the Fire Kool-Aid. I've got his altered armor already. Um, so yeah. We're not going to take no chances with this guy. We're just going to blast him. We're not taking no chance. And I hope you get his uh... Oh, really? Really? Woo! Actually, you know what? That's a lot like the candle uh, stand we just had. Woo! Yeah, he hits hard. Not hard enough, though. And I can't see what's going on here. I'm such on a one hit. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. He actually going to drop anything for me, so he has, so he has, and what have you dropped? Okay, so I just got his fire pre-lit gauntlets now. Here's when he can farm, and um, you can see here, you get all his gear. I farmed the altered version, so that robe, he had a red, like a red chest piece on. I farmed the guy that gave me the altered set, which is better in my opinion, just looks better. But yeah, you also get that weapon as well, you can get that weapon from him, or you can get it from the guy I posted the video on already. Which you get this thing here. Which let's not lie to ourselves, it's pretty devastating looking. How much? Yeah, I've got plenty of that. So, yeah. Pretty badass, people. Pretty badass. <laughs> okay, so let me just uh, get rid of that and we'll go on and carry on exploring, guys. I'll show you other things, but let me grab this first. And that uh, glove water down there. Grab that giant seal, which is pretty cool. They don't even know what that is, but we'll take it. Actually, I'll have a quick look. Oh, the great glove, what nice. So yeah, you get that here too, guys. So there's plenty, plenty down here. Oh, pretty cool. Boost Giant's Flame Incantations. That's, that's what we like to see. So you get that too. You get that too. Um, now we can go this way and go down a ladder. Or just jump down, I jump down. Just like so. And there's going to be these shadow cats down here. But you want to just peg it past them, guys. Peg it past him and then go right up the ladder. Now you can go that way too and, and kite him in. But I'm just going to try and grab that. And up this ladder we go. Up this ladder we go. Like I said, I've, I've killed a couple of them. Well, I killed that one at the top so many times. And I got nothing from it. I got nothing from it. So I just don't think it's even worth your time trying to get them. Unless they drop that specific sword they're using, which I'm not sure they do. Which I'm not sure that they do. Now that one you wouldn't want to drop down, I'll tell you that. That's a that's a deep drop. Okay, so now we're up here guys. You know where we were? Where we come in that door on your left? We you have to kill the giant. We've got grave water to kill. Plenty of them. There we go. That is it. We've explored this entire place and it seems as though there's nothing extra down here. Nothing spare down here whatsoever. And there we have it guys. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.